On the topic, like a rolling stone, from Club 68 in Carnegie, speaker David Watchman. Hey Jane, just stand here and jump. Jane jumped. Nothing happened. This was part of my brother's genius plan. You see, Jane had come up the street to help fulfill this plan. Because I love to dig holes. I'm just, just as a little bit of background, I love to dig holes. <laughs> and I'd imagine myself in the quarry with an excavator. And there, it was like there were rolling stones all around me. <laughs> I was digging away with my construction hat on, digging the biggest hole you've ever seen in your life. And then my brother came along, and he had a great idea. We were going to pull a prank. You know how the rolling stones were a bit of a prankster? Well, my brother was a bit of a prankster too. And his idea was to get a plastic bag, put it in the hole, fill it with a bit of air and water, and cover it up. So, when Mum wasn't looking, I snuck into the kitchen and I grabbed a plastic bag out of the drawer and stuck back into the backyard and I put it into the hole. I filled it with air and water about halfway up. And then I spread out, as my brother commanded me, I spread dirt over the top, covered it with some sticks and some leaves. No one would have known there was a hole there. It was perfect. It was a trap fit for a bear. But where are we going to find our bear? And that's where Ira's genius came in. Ira is my older brother, for your information. Let's call Jane up. She can be our bear. So we're back at the start of the story. Hey Jane, just stand here and jump. Well, Jane jumped. Nothing happened. <laughs> jump harder, Jane. Jump harder. Jane jumped as hard as she could. And like a rolling stone, slammed into the bottom of the barrel. Started crying. And that's when I realised. The prank wasn't on Jane. The prank was on me. 